For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team Coins, check out the Mud Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, it's Grand Boss, your boy Texas, back over here on the Madden, and we finally got the update we've been waiting for. On the screen right now, you guys should be seeing what Mud updated, as well as in the description below, they'll have a link for everything else regarding franchise and all the other game modes over here in this game. But we're playing Mud right now, so we're only worried about that. So first things first, they went ahead and updated the chemistry icons on the right side of your screen to make these bad boys bigger. That's dope. Like it was kind of small before. You gotta hit this right thumbstick actually to go ahead and look for it and go down here to see exactly what you had activated. It was a very small, so now it is bigger, so you can see it. And also, they changed the way you can create your line. If you press Y, it'll help you generate your best, or no, actually, what, huh? I swear I hit Y earlier, and it brought up something else. What the hell happened? I swear I hit Y, what, what, okay, I'm confused now. But I hit Y earlier, and it said generate best lineup automatically, and was doing this, I guess, that was just a bug? Okay, never mind, so everything else is pretty much the same. Anyway, I like this fix, but the one thing that didn't update, which is going to annoy me, is the compare feature. So, let's say I want to compare Odell Beckham to Kamar Aiken, because they're both vertical chemistry. I still can't compare him and get the chem boost. I gotta go down to the 85 and do the math myself. I don't know if they're gonna be adding that in the next couple of weeks. I don't know if it's a big deal to them. It might be like on their short board, that like stuff they may fix when they get to it, but I would still like to see like the blues on both sides of these cards. Cause like when you're comparing cards with Kim Boost, you would like to see them actually like Kim Boost it. So yeah. but anyway, that's not that big of a deal, even though it kinda is. They also updated the solos as well. They finally put how many you actually played. So as you guys can see, I played 169 limited time solos. It would be higher, but I missed like five or six of these bad boys. You got the gauntlet right here, 108 out of 60. Ultimate season is exactly how many are in the game right now and everything else pretty much the same. So if you wanna keep track, how close you are to this VIP club, go ahead and count up the solos you've been playing and see if you get close to it. If you guys like five or 50 games close to it, I will go ahead and just play them because the coin rewards are worth it. Now, I'll say the best for last. If you guys are reading that thing on the screen, you know what it is. They finally added a, I want to call it a collect all button, but they finally made collecting cards much easier than it was in the years past. So today we got some new mud gear for those that did not know if you had some cards in these mud gear sets, you got them all back. So right here, this one doesn't require, this one requires random one. So if you want to go ahead and knock this out, you hit Y, 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 Y. Yep, right, right there, right, okay. And then you go ahead and hit A, add to set, and then you can go ahead and add all these by hitting Y again. Like, it is pretty cool. So I can go ahead and add 10 of these bad boys right now. Hit apply to set, and we got it completed. That took less time than it normally does. So the collect all button, or the apply all button is finally over here in this game. They're doing good things, man. They're making good strides to make this game more fun. A lot of guys are quitting, but I think a lot of guys may be coming back just because they are making this game fun again. Are you guys excited about this, man? Because like, I I just woke up, so I don't sound that excited, but I'm really looking forward to the direction much could be going in if they keep giving us stuff that we be requesting. Like, I'm tired of them doing stuff just to get coins and get money and all that stuff, but like, award the consumer and it seems so far they're making things a little more user friendly especially because like they're trying to cater to the casual fan and a casual fan is not gonna run like 250 cards no no way no how like that's stupid so hardcore fans we got their backs but they're still trying to make this game more fun more functional and it seems to be going in that right direction so i'm really enjoying what's going on in this game even though i probably wasted my collectibles right there i, I do like how they got the future where you get your cards back if you can't complete it that is awesome and i do like how now you can actually put a bunch of cards into sets without having to, you know, hit A, hit A, wait a couple seconds, hit A, hit A, wait a couple seconds. I have the idea that they can do a crafting button like they did over in like all the other video games, but I'm I'm cool with what they're doing right now. So I'm going to sell this Desperados home uniform and hopefully get some coins out of this. I'm the Texas boy, and I will see you guys later on today with a pro pack opening as well as an award winners pack opening over here on the channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, and if you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs it up. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.